I got my help here because I'm gonna move this trap. I'm gonna move it to over there where they're uh, tearing up the ground at. So here's my help car. Okay guys, these are the hogs that we have that's in a pen right here. So I'm pretty sure y'all don't know about these hogs. But if you're new, these are hogs that we've trapped on our land. We've got them in the pen, fattening them up to where we can butcher them because we called one and she had uh, babies the next day. So she got four little babies in there. So guys, I'm thinking maybe one of these hogs is in heat or something. And maybe that is what has could uh, attract these uh, other hogs up here. I don't know, I'm not an expert, but I sure do like to trap them and catch them. And what's so funny was one guy left me a comment and said, I needed to stay at the house <laughs> and let my husband do this. But what he don't realize that it's me the one that's doing this. I'm the one that encourages him, let's go put the traps out. Let's go do this. Not the other way around. So, if I stay home, we ain't gonna have no hog videos. So how many of y'all think I need to stay home? Me either. <laughs> but look, y'all. See where they're rooting? Look, you can see the, look, look the tracks. See, they just rooting all this up in here. So they've rooted and they are coming around into the pasture. Uh, this is uh, family land here too, and so this is family land. So they, they just rooting all along here. But you can look how they've rooted down there by that fence over there too. So they're just venturing out. So, you know, they've never been on this side before, but who's to say that they won't come, you know? Uh, but I just really believe that one of these hogs, uh, one of these sows that's in this pen could be in heat or something. So we're gonna move the trap over here close to the pen and we're gonna put some corn in it and we're gonna see if we can catch it. Guys, I hope it's that big daddy. I showed him on some previous videos. If you look before, you'll see him. Uh, I think it was a thumbnail or something. He, he is big. He was as big as the barrel, you know? But he's smart. He didn't get that big for no reason at all. But uh, either I'm gonna catch him in this trap or I'm gonna shoot him off the stand. 
One way or the other, I'm getting that baby. <laughs> Maybe one of these could be in heat or something, and that could have lured them over here. Yeah, it could be. They're one rooting over there, in, yeah, they're and along the over. fence line, and they're like they're coming in over here. In this, they gonna feel safe around these other hogs, though. Get it all fixed back up. Get her set up. But guys, these hogs here, when Todd gets some time off, with the weather being cool, when it gets a little bit colder uh we're gonna butcher all three of those big ones at one time and then we're gonna leave just the little ones in here is that our plan yes, that's the plan this is old faithful that's what we call this trap because we have caught all the hogs in this trap except that one hog in the sea trap huh Yep, I know so. That's what they all come out of Old Faithful. It looks like junk. It's old, but let me tell you something. It catch a hog, babe. <laughs> we've done a butchered some hogs. So, I mean, this is not all we've caught. So don't think that it's only caught three. Todd's had this old trap for a long time, huh? It used to be a... My dad used to feed calves in it. At a place where just the, right here where the, just the calves could come in. That's what these holes are for. Oh, y'all see that, guys? The rebar? You know, this hog panel wasn't here, and the cal calves would come in there, and that's where you fed them at. We just changed it to a hog trap. Not bad. And you gotta have a, a hole in the top. So there we go, guys. There's the hole. That's where you can get out whenever you get after you. <laughs> yeah, you. I just catch them. <laughs> all right let me get the corn out and we're gonna get this trap set Right, guys, this is all I could find right here. Give me that hammer. 
our stake, y'all, uh, over there, the hogs must have rooted and buried it because we couldn't find the stake that we used. So he found this old arrow that he's going to use. You better pull them plastic pieces off. Yeah, we would. If it holds. Guys, all you need is something to hold the wire. That's an old arrow. Go turn that door loose. What it is, I come from the door through the. Uh, where, right here is where you got Yeah, you gotta untie that. Maybe right there on up. Where? The top, go to the top of that. Just untie that right there. I can't see. That right there. I'm this, is it a loop or something in here? Baby, you're six foot four. I can't even see over the thing. Here, take these and touch it. He forgets that he's taller than me. I don't know how. <laughs> Somebody help me, please. Oh, I got it. All right, turn it loose. Wait, I got to get this one. Okay, it's loose. Go from the top of the gate. Right here's the top. Through the roller. Just stick across this to tie here. down. And he's running it. And we're going to come over here. And he's got an arrow. Because our stick, the hogs buried it when we caught him last time. And that's all we could find, y'all. Here, we need these cutters. Yeah. Okay, you gotta, I leave this loose truck and adjust it. And what the hog does, you pour the corn right here, the hog comes and picks his nose, he picks his nose, and Boom. down comes the door. That's a caught hog. And that's all there is to it, guys. Now I'm gonna tie this little loop right here better. It's just sliding over top of that air. You can use a, a stick or a, a nail. We put a, a, a finished nail in the top of a board anything there's several different kind of triggered mechanisms you really just use what you got yeah we're back here and we ain't got nothing we gotta move the pick track. the door up so i can reset it i grab the bottom of the door all right go down with it and that's it guys if you put it to too light of a trigger, the coons will trip it when they step in it because the coons are going to come too. They're going to come eat this corn. Where you want me to pour the corn at? I want you to give it to me. Give it to you down in that hole? He'll come in here and he'll eat the corn to the door for a while and then he'll eat the corn to here and finally he'll get to the back. It just takes time. A lot of times what I'll do is take this and set the trap, tie the door open so they can come in here and get used to feeding. And then they'll come on in, they'll all come together and you catch more than one like that. But it's set guys. We catch something, we'll show y'all. That could be, I'm recording crawling out. He didn't want me to y'all. <laughs> Pull my pants up, throw them, she'll crack. <laughs> they sell that on the streets, babe. <laughs> Ow! He hit me with the hammer, y'all saw it. That's domestic violence. <laughs> I dropped my hammer. Lord. <laughs> he just hit my toe. I'm an abused woman. Y'all didn't know that, did y'all? <laughs> All right, guys, that's all we got for today. I'll bring you back when I come back to feed these hogs in another video. So I'm glad he put the trap here because I feed these hogs daily, and then that way I can kill two birds with one stone. Feed the hogs and check the trap. 
And boy, boy, and he's working all the time. So guess what? I'm going to be by myself, son. By myself. And I, you'll get to see what I do with that hog by myself. So thank y'all. We appreciate y'all. And God bless.